Hi, <laughs> this is me, Paul, and um, I wanted to talk to you about something really. It's been on my mind for quite some time, and uh, it's really about elements of my life that might be missing from what I do in the everyday when I'm filming, when I'm being filmed really. I, the filming isn't really me doing it, it's people on the other side of the cameras that are following me and tracing my work and trying to help me to teach others and reach out to others to introduce them to something that I feel very passionate about which is woodworking not just furniture making and uh, it could um, encompass just about anything to do with wood whether it's sharpening saws and things like that but sometimes I have looked at the videos and I thought these are really nice videos and they do explain things very well but what they don't see or what you might not see are the struggles that I have on this side of the camera when I have prepared something, a, a prototype, this is a prototype I'm working on now and there are nuts and bolts that go together with this that you may not see that I have to work through difficult issues even psychological emotional issues to work out how I can best present my life not just this element of my life which is teaching so you know I ride my bike to work every morning I go along past lakes down country lanes I go into more uh, coffee every morning with some friends a particular friend we meet every morning we've done that for years and we just have coffee together and we talk about the problems of the world and our own struggles and everything we share that life with one another and and um, I want to share those things with you. Sometimes I'm working on a prototype and it's gone wrong, something split at the wrong time and things like that. I'd like to have those more inclusive, but not just, the, not just the problems, the good things, the other elements that you don't suddenly break in the middle of a, a video that you're making a dovetail joint and say, oh, by the way, this morning, blah, 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 you, you know, you actually might have something important to say, which I think often I do. I have a thought that I feel is important for sharing with somebody else and things like that. So this is me interpreting what I want to do for the future. I'm mapping out uh, a vlog. I want to start vlogging more and more so that you can see some of the elements in the work that we do, but also my life as an individual, a father, a, a husband, uh, a teacher, uh, a woodworker, many elements that I've made decisions on through the years that I even may have forgotten. I might suddenly go, oh, I remember when I was in my apprenticeship and George did this or Jack did that or John did the other. And they're important. And I think that we can perhaps make this where you could feel more included. I can feel more included in your lives too, just to share some of it, you know, because it's been a conscious effort for me to develop a lifestyle that I can live with, live in, and express a real way of living as an alternative reality for you know others to consider at least that could they do this are they going to answer their vocational calling late in life rather than at the beginning like I did I don't think it's too late if you suddenly feel like you want to be an artist a painter or whatever it doesn't matter whether you're gifted at it what matters is you answer that calling and I think you know, I want to share some of the struggles that I've had as well as the good things, some of the experiments that have gone wrong instead of the perfect ones, you know, those kinds of things. So that's just what I wanted to share with you before I get really started in vlogging. So yesterday I was, um, I took about an hour and a half out and I went to a garage, um, to a charity shop actually, and this is what I found. Have a look at this, see what you think. So there, I've got a decent spoke shave and it's a beach one and um, but the blades in good neck I've got half a dozen screwdrivers that I don't need but they're nice they're, these are old vintage Stanleys and then one or two different ones like this is a little square uh, chis um, yeah chisel shaped all and then this I got I got this to uh, give to my friend because they don't have one and a couple of very small um, vintage shell uh, augers pretty good you think so now I'm off to the cafe because 
I gotta go and have my coffee. The, hob uh, the um, hawthorn tree berries. I like these. When I was a kid, I used to gather these and uh, take them. Not if you can hear that wisp noise in the background. These are the sounds I listen for in the morning. I love it, really. I just wanted to show you some of this week's work here because I think it's kind of interesting. So here, this is my week. So I've got dovetails on the corners and then I have combined this circular tenon with a housing dado, which is, I think, kind of neat. And then here you've got a twin angle dovetails. So the dovetail is angled this way and then it's angled along the length which I think is kind of neat. What do you think? So let me know what you think. I think I'm enjoying this. Are you? So here we are again, my friends. This is me on my bike looking out over the lake. It's very nice, it's a very nice way to take my lunch break. So I've just enjoyed a circle. You can go all the way around this lake on the footpath. I don't think you're supposed to cycle on the path, but it's hard not to and get everything in. So you can see it's really a very pleasing place to be. If you're like me and you like wildlife, I like these pockets of beauty. Um, I just think that these are what we live for really, these oases of beauty where you can see nature at its best. Even when it does have pollution in there you still have a sense that nature is fighting back, at least I hope it is. I have been replacing a plane handle because I had one in this plane that was broken uh, even though the fix was good and I did um, stain it and I've hidden the fix pretty well as good as I could but I wanted to make another one because I feel like I never like a broken plane handle so I've been doing different things to shape this and I've worked out a system to get the exact angle I want here to the hole that goes down the middle and boring it out and things like that. I think it will really help people to replace a plane handle if theirs is broken or if they just want a more special piece of wood. I've used U for this which is a wonderful wood because of its resilience and its strength and its resistance to cracking. So that's what I've ended up with here. I've got a very nice plain handle that fits my hand perfectly like a glove what's this guys this is why your planes all come apart when you're flying on a plane just the vibration of the file causes all kinds of twists and turns inside your plane Fascinating. Hi, guy. I'm off for my lunch. Taking a little tour on my bike as I usually do. I love this. I love. I love. I love. like this. I remember when I was an apprentice 
my break consisted of going and getting pies, chips, fish and chips for all the pan. And if I got it wrong, oh man, was it murder. When I got back, if I got the wrong pork pie from the wrong baker, the wrong size, stuff like that. Fish and chips from the wrong chippy. I used to have to go to three different chip shops. But, well, thank you, Philly. I can take care of my own lunch now. So this is great. I've been working on a prototype and now I'm working on the real McCoy. So I've been working on sliding dovetails and housing dados combined in the same joint, which is really quite nice. It's coming together very well. And now I am chopping mortise holes quite a few but it's so well worth it and it's great training so here's me this is my typical day chopping mortises is it just woodworking that you're interested in or are you interested in things like homegrown tomatoes I love homegrown tomatoes and over there are my home grows and this is how we grow them every year it's more Liz that grows them than me but I eat them I come out here and uh, pick them off about half a dozen to a dozen every day and eat them straight from the plant and they are just delicious I think it's important to take a break when you can. Uh, during the day, take five minutes, walk along the river and meet people along the way, meet their dogs, meet different elements that make society work. Good morning. And um, I think you'll find me along the river a lot over the years, listening for birds, watching birds, looking for geese and just taking a few minutes periodically during the day just to spend time with nature but also to spend time with people and looking at people and and uh, encouraging people along the way if you can um, it's just in the everyday of life you know a smile and nod, a acknowledgement that they're there and so on I find myself doing that the older I get because I think that people need encouraging and um, being here with the river and the trees and, and so on are just part and parcel of it really. So it's not just woodworking, it's everything uh, for me. Woodworking is um, a critical, important part of my life, but then so is everything. And uh, I think the more you can think about those elements that make life tick, um, the more you become attuned to listening, the more you become attuned to watching and, and seeking and searching out answers for making life better, really, for not just for me, but, you know, in fact, more so for anybody you come across as you're walking and meeting people. So I'm back on my bike now. See what happens next. They all sound like they're muttering to one another, don't they, geese? Just the cooler weather's coming, and now. I guess it will migrate. I don't know how many of them migrate. Hi. Hi, my friends. I am at the end of a week. It's Friday evening. Everybody's gone home. The office is clear. 
I'm just tidying up a few things. I like to sweep the floor, sweep my bench off, put my tools away, that kind of thing. I've finished a project that I've been working on. Not finished it, but finished the design work. So I just glued this up before I left for the evening. And then I'm ready for Monday morning. But I just wanted to recap some of the things. I've done a lot of things this morning. I've bought tools on eBay. I've bought them from second-hand markets, some charity shop one, and uh, things like that. But I've done a lot of walking, a lot of running. I've done a lot of biking. I've been around town, and that's part of my everyday life. And that's what the idea of me starting to vlog is more about, because you see me when I'm at my best behind the lens. I've got people on the cameras and that kind of thing, but I'm behind this camera, whether you can believe it or not. And um, what we're going to do is close up this week. This is the end of my week, uh, my first week in vlogging. Uh, it doesn't come easy to me, but I have enjoyed it and I like a challenge. And um, there are so many things, so many aspects of my life that I want to share with you as I go through the next year, two years, three years, just to kind of encourage you to take a look at your life and maybe consider an alternative lifestyle just as I did when I was young. I came to a point in my life when I could see things differently as I grew more mature. Now I'm 68 and I look back on it and I say to myself, I did adopt a lifestyle really when I was very young that I was gonna become a woodworker and I became a furniture maker. Um, consistently I engineered this life. I worked on the things that I wanted in my life because I felt like they were important. But the most important thing is the people in my life uh, alongside this, my children, my family, but also the people I worked with in the past, the people I work with now, are all pivotal to my well-being. I look at them and I look, I look at young people now and I don't think, what are these young people doing? I say to myself, the future lies in the hope of these young people because they are full of hope. And I really applaud them for all that they do in taking responsibility for their lives. Because this is a more difficult age than it was in my day when I was 15, 18, 20, 25. It was pretty more black and white than it is now. We didn't have social media. We didn't have all of those things. We didn't have techno-digital age. We didn't have any of that. Whereas it's making the ability for me to contact you by the hundreds of thousands which is commendable. But all I'm saying is maybe get off the conveyor belt and take charge of the things that you don't have charge of, whether it's debt or whether it's whatever it is, you know, try to redefine yourself, engineer yourself, if you like, for want of a better term, and try and take uh, the things that you're passionate about, passionate about and include them in your life, just like I did with woodworking. Woodworking has been my every day for the last 50 years. And I've loved it, and I can't imagine doing anything else. And it's not because I didn't experience anything else. It's because I felt like this was what I was supposed to do the strongest. So I encourage you that if you love woodworking, if you love craft, if you like art, if you like whatever it is, photography, writing, drawing, running, skipping, jumping, whatever it is, in include it in your life. Don't preclude all the other things, but try and include them in your life to develop what I would call is a style of life, a living lifestyle and live an alternative life to the one your peers want for you uh, and live the one that you feel will benefit society the most, benefit your neighbour the most and you can enjoy that in the process. So the end of my first week, successful? Probably okay, I, I can't really say. But it's me and it's real and that's really all I wanted. My tools, my workbench, my workshop, this is me, this is where I work. This is where I like being with people and this is where I like my reaching out to other people like yourself. So this isn't empty, this isn't vain, it's just I think we've got somewhere to go together and we're all on a journey somewhere. Let's find out where we're going. Thank you for listening, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm.